Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Dad. welcome back to Mass Effect's Legendary Edition. Well, last time, me and Tali went for a lovely day out, blowing up robots, blowing up Geth, basically, Tali got to blow up a whole bunch of AI, and Tali loves blowing up AI. She'll come round to AI a little bit later in the franchise, but for now, she's super into that. And today, I'd say it's time to do a bit more, you know, main plot, because we're kind of supposed to be tracking down Saren and saving the galaxy in diddly diddly day. Oh, and perfect timing, right next door to our big Geth incursion. Yeah, Pharos is right there, marvellous. Though naturally we won't be going there first. No, 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 always check the other place first. And also, make sure there's nothing down over. There's nothing down over here yet. Doesn't mean there won't be one day or another. Message coming in. Patching it through. See, something's going on. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Atticum Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Oh yeah, this is a nice small simple one if I recall correctly. In fact, is this the monkey mission? Because I suspect it is. Oh, but I thought so. I had a feeling the moment I saw this planet with, yeah, rings and grass and stuff in the air... There's something a bit more here. Yes, this is what I love about Mass Effect. Sometimes uh, you just go to a random corner of a random planet and you don't just find random generic trash. No, you find special stuff. And uh, I'm kind of wondering whether they might have done something with this because uh, this was always kind of the coolest idea that wasn't well developed enough in the entire game, which is uh, there's a Prothean ruin right over here. Now, uh, you may recall, I was given a mysterious artifact by the consort. So, just to be clear, that is a reward for doing a side mission on the Citadel that you can very easily miss and not bother doing. And this is an artifact on a planet you don't need to come to, in a system you don't need to come to, in a corner of the map, the game gives you basically no reason to visit. But if you bring those two pieces together, then this happens. The ball rises up in the air and... If we examine the mysterious globe, then... Okay, I appear to be... Oh, I appear to be dying because there's a level 1 uh, hazard around here. Okay, everybody... Okay, why aren't you guys dying? Okay, everyone else has got better armor than me. Everybody back in the truck for a second. I'm dying of level 1 hazard. Okay, now I'm not dying of level 1 hazard. We can look at the mysterious globe. And... No, it's still just text. Okay, boo Bioware. Boo, I say. I was kind of assuming that this might have been turned into something a bit more cool because, yes, there's a really fascinating bit of lore that occurs right here, but it's just done through text. And I was kind of assuming that maybe they'd have gone back and uh, done something a bit more fancy for this. So basically the ball flashes and gives me a vision of, like, I don't know, a very, very long ago ancestor. So I wake from a deep sleep. You're alone in the forest, though you're not far from the caves you share with others of your tribe. There is pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the bird you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it is watching you, studying you. So, all of a sudden, yes, um, it's revealed that the Protheans apparently went and visited early Earth, unless it was, you know, something that predates the Protheans, and this artifact isn't a Prothean ruin, we just assume it is. It might be something even older. This might go back multiple generations, to the very same generation, in fact, that's explored in Leviathan, the DLC for uh, Mass Effect 3. So, yes, this is all... Uh, Fascinating stuff. Anyway, I shake my spear at the bloody spaceship and it just sort of naffs off because it's blatantly chipped me and possibly even done something to me. Like, we know Protheans went and did stuff to primitive civilizations. Like, I think it's confirmed fairly explicitly in Mass Effect 3, they did stuff to the Asari. It's possible they did stuff to humanity 
as well. It's all fascinating stuff here. It doesn't really go anywhere, to be honest, but it's a really interesting look in the galaxy that just only really shows up, you know, if you really go and explore. And Mass Effect 1 really rewarded the explorers with stuff like this. It was really cool. And the final line of the text, of course, confirming why there were ruins on Mars, which is where in this universe humanity found the Prothean ruins and thus discovered uh, mass relays, all the rest of it. They were studying humanity there. But why? What did they learn? What were they doing? It's just such a fascinating, tiny little story. The actual mini mission on this planet's really not so interesting, by the way. All it is is you've got to find a thing. It's been stolen by some monkeys. Uh, check a couple of locations uh, that belong to monkeys. Uh, the monkeys may or may not be related to the monkeys in Knights of the Old Republic. And if I recall correctly, if you blow up the monkeys... Nice shot. This is why you humans have such a violent reputation. Yes, Rex is uh, very much in favour of blowing up the monkeys. Liara, not so much. And in the end, the data is located in environment you can discover on planet number three. There's a loading screen there for some reason. The Mine Marvelous. Leading, of course, to the discovery that, uh, yes, the monkey at the very bottom of the mine has the data module. And would you believe it, there's going to be a handful of Geth to take out on the, uh, the way out. And if I recall correctly, this fight can be a little bit on the, uh, the tricky side. Yeah, I figured as much, but that's fine. Because, uh, Liara... We got good stuff with you going on, lovely. There's... Okay, Liara's already a little bit on the, the damage side. That's fine. Overload to that guy. And then in a moment, there's the destroyers. Uh, right, Liara. Just toss one of them off the feet, please. And he can start going down in a... Oh, I'm taken. Okay, we didn't actually finish off those guys. Yes, I remember this being a bit of a, a tricky one, uh, actually. Liara. Keep them busy while I'm dealing with all of this. Um, Rex, knock that guy over, please. I need to heal, 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 heal. There we go. That'll buy me a second at the bare minimum. How's this guy doing? Uh, carnage him, because he's in no position to do much to me. Destroy at the back. I'll focus on him. And go. Okay, I mean, good sacrifice there. Well done. Uh, okay. I've got a sabotage. That'll do something to you at the bare minimum. Uh, you've melted. Uh, Liara's got really good polonium rounds on her, by the way, which is nice. I am struggling with uh, heating. Uh, damping. I think that does, like, a stun, potentially. Okay, not much, but it's good enough to knock him down. Physics damage is good. There's a sniper at the back. We've even got a level up, too. Marvellous. And we're in time for a singularity. Spec. Tacular now that that'll do the job. All right, put all these things uh, together and look at that Crowd uh, flipping cleared me a sniper and Liara biotic just about pulled that one off love it Rex help yourself to more shotguns Liara max out lift absolutely lovely after that to be honest Yeah, max out sorry science. Oh, sorry Liara you've got um You've got a lot more than I thought. Okay, definitely max that out in that case. Honestly, warp is not the best ability, so let's just move you towards at least having stasis. Because, yeah, it's good to just uh, play for time, if need be. And a little bit, a little bit of first aid. Just enough to get you up to having access to a basic overload. Because that's shielding, which doesn't hurt. Because, uh, yeah, your health is uh, pretty poor next to everyone else's. Also, I think we've actually not uh, killed everybody. Apparently, there's still somebody here. Oh, guys. Guys, 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 I am so sorry. Just knock him off his feet, and then I'll finish you off. Lovely. Now that's done. Still, that taken care of. Pharos, here we flipping come. Again, I just love how everything's connected. When you go to a new planet, you see the Normandy coming in, you see it land, you want to go out, you have to walk to the door that's by the side of the ship. It's just connectivity. That's the key to this game, all right? Connectivity is just marvellous. So we're going to be going up against a whole bunch of stuff here. So yeah, starting off, it's going to be Geth. We know there's Geth incursions, but there's wild animals too. There's going to be 
other biological creatures who we may have seen uh, very briefly previously, in fact. So, okay, Tarling, it was nice of you to join us, but the Dream Team needs to come back together here. Liara and Rex are just such a good pairing for my Shepherd, and they're just stars in general. Also, I think I forgot to upgrade myself in the last mission, so... Okay, Master Assassin is never gonna hurt, if only because, yeah, bonus damage with sniper rifles, uh, that's gonna be a lovely thing. So, okay, at this point I am getting, what is it, the... Is it the cooldown? No, cooldown's the same, it's just more damage. So, yes, basically, ridiculous mega shot out of Assassination, that's lovely. Don't want to move... Uh, that's already in pretty good shape, to be honest. That's already up yeah, to uh, 10 in charm, that's as good as we can have uh, for now. Spectre training's not going to hurt. It wouldn't hurt to have uh, Master Sabotage or Advanced Damping. Uh, hang on, is that... Can't do the time recharge time. I'll just move up in Spectre training. To be honest, you're yeah, having a tiny bit more uh, health, having a tiny bit more uh, damage and duration, and moving towards Advanced Unity, that's not going to be a bad thing. And say hello to everybody's new favourite character. It's David, or as I call him, Jenkins 2. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. And there goes David. Lovely. So he's nice and dead at this point. Lovely. So yes, we have got a couple of Geth to push past. So, uh, Liara, your singularity right over there if you'd be so kind. Uh, that should take care of... Wow, that was actually far enough away it got all of them. Now we just start uh, blasting them with my rifle. And also just, you know, cover gets affected. Cover is not pinned to the ground. You can use biotics to move around cover, which is just marvellous. Now, be a little bit careful here because I've kind of just, yeah, as I say, move the, uh, move the cover. So, Shepard, I'd get down if I were you and just take this out nice and fast. Oh, this rifle. Me and this rifle can be friends. And yes, if you want to. I see you're trying to, you know, hide in cover over there. And Liara, that was very embarrassing for you that you just fluffed that. Dear oh flipping dear. I was about to make a big speech about how it was really cool that you could just, you know, work around all this stuff. But, okay, I mean, yeah, you know what? You've made up for that. You've made up for that. Also, just very quickly, another overload. That's going to do tons of damage. You're being killed. You're being killed. They haven't got up yet. This is... Oh, this is just lovely. I just love it. It's the best. Rex, go forward. Forward you go, Rex. Over you go. Just head in that direction. There you go. Just... No, just... Just move. Move forward. Rex, just go. Move forward. He can take the sniper shot. He can take it. Rex can take it. He's got his barrier up, so he's basically functionally invincible right now. One more to go, and I think he's disintegrated. Yeah, I've given Rex burning ammo, because damage over time is a good thing to give to your companions, because generally they're not the best at doing direct damage uh, next to you, just because they don't use their abilities so intelligently. And, uh, all right, we're being jammed here, if I recall correctly. Yes, we have got some more ghosts and stalkers and whatnot, which get a little introductory cutscene in case you come here before you took care of Liara. So, hang about. Guys, 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 guys. None of that, please. None of that. So let's just get them on the float. And then we'll just be finishing them off as soon as possible. One overload should do it, right? That should take care of them. Or not. Well, that guy's nice and dead. I just love the physics of a sniper rifle. After using biotics, it's just delightful. And there's also... Hang on, where's... Are you okay for the time? You appear to be okay for the time being. Now you're dead too. Killing Geth. It's just free stuff. It's lovely. Right, keep on keeping on. Or is that it for now? I think that might be it for now. There's more coming up, obviously. But... Yeah, there we go. That's enough for now. So, say hello to the colonists here. You can speak to them, but honestly, all the named ones have got nothing to say aside from, hey, can you get me some water? Hey, can you get me some meat? They just give you little quests. So, we'll take care of that later. But, there is a shop here. Um, can I use you yet? No, not yet. I need to go and speak to the uh, the leader before any of that. Here we go, Fidam. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! 
Protect the heart of the colony! And now we've just got a few more bits and pieces to take out. Liara, you know what to do. And oh yeah, just, just look at that. It's just lovely. And then just headshots. Headshots, headshots, and more flipping headshots. And then we're just putting more and more damage on them. You're taking that damage. You're, oh no, sniper! Careful with snipers. That's the one thing you don't mess with. Uh, do a lift over there if you'd be so kind. And we'll just take you out too. Lovely. You've been knocked over. You've been knocked over. Just... Oh, I just love knocking people over. It's hilarious just making them fall over. Over and over again. Just... It's just the best. Right. What else have we got? I suspect we've got more bits and pieces. Yeah, that was... Oh, that was a poor dead human. Okay. Well, we can deal with that. Liara, just... I was kind of assuming you'd be able to take care of both of them in one, but whatever. The radius on throw is... Uh, very, very slow indeed. Wow, Liara is kicking ass and taking names right now. Uh, use my shield boost and... Uh, no, no, no. Take that out. And let's just have one lovely knockdown. Overload. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, we've also got to push to the tower, which is, yeah, over in this direction. Can't go this way just yet, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, let's clear up the tower first. We'll come deal with that in a second. So, yeah, this bit can be a bit dicey actually, but uh, we'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll all be a-okay. They're all a bit moving for my... Okay, everybody everybody, hold still, and good time for a shield, mind you. No, you don't. Down you go, down you go, down you go. My shield's holding together for now, at least, and you two can go down as well, and no, you don't. No, you don't over there. Recon drones, marvellous. Let's just uh, take out all of them. And just hit them with an auto. No. Snipers. Never, never, never do anything that messes with a sniper. Seriously. Uh, okay, someone take out that. Rex, push forward, please. Push forward. Just get forward. Draw them out. Rex can handle a lot of this nonsense. And they will start firing at him if they've only got a good shot at him. So once I've got all of that together, Rex, you can handle that, right? Yes, his shotgun kicks a lot of ass, and now you guys are going down. Rex can also just knock people over as well. It's not just me that does that. And then you at the rear. We golden. Right, push forward. We're going to have more coming in off a big old dropship. Liara's ready with the singularity at this point. So that's going to take out, like, all of them, which is just lovely. If anything, overload for that whole crowd. That's going to mean they take a huge amount of damage. Are you dead yet by the... Oh, there's someone over there. Okay, I may have got a bit ahead of myself here. Liara, I want that guy off his feet, just taking more damage as time goes by. There's going to be more coming up too, but at this point we're, we're golden. There's only like one left. The dropship will pull out in a second. This is... Uh, oh yeah. We're ready for this. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? And... Done. Any more for any more? No. Nope. He's pulling out, going back to Geth base. Lovely. Right. So now we can actually interact with the town proper. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. So yes indeed, we've got a colony here. The Geth are attacking it, but... There's something just a bit off here, and I love this, because, again, at this point, it's not explicit, but something's just a bit wrong. You may have heard when speaking to David earlier, there's just something a bit unusual about his voice delivery. Now, you could have just written it off as, okay, not the best uh, voice actor. Night's Old Republic is full of weird-ass voice actors phoning in some really weird-ass performances, but there's something just a bit off about this entire colony. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders, 
I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. So yes indeed, just something... something a bit off. Something that's making people take note of the place, that's just... Let's explore a bit more thoroughly, shall we? Like, for example, we find a couple of people inside their med bay right next to where we just were. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. She is not visibly injured, but clearly something is causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. There's something going on here that's not just the Geth attack. And if you're just passing through, thinking, okay, I'll just move straight on to the Geth base, pew pew pew, you can miss it. You can overlook it. It's not, you know... Well, I wouldn't say it's, you know, massively subtle, but it's not obvious either. Mass Effect 1 treated you like an adult, where you could figure stuff out if you were paying enough attention. Still, by now, that shop should be open to me. Ah, you see, one new license, and, crucially, a really damn nice pistol, actually. That's... Okay, that's huge. And it's my favourite line. I love the stilettos. All right. Liara's still using the old stiletto 5. That's my old cast-off, so... Uh, I mean... It's a bit on the expensive side, but then again, I'm swimming in 800,000 credits, so why not, to be honest? In fact, sell a handful of old stuff I don't need, and we have broken a million. Marvellous. And once we hit level 7 weapons, I get myself an extra slot. Marvellous. Right, new lovely pistol. This one is... Okay, we're back to that weird scenario where my pistol is slower than my sniper rifle, so... I like the sniper rifle. To be honest, I feel like the only problem is we've still got heat issues. So, if I could do something to reduce the heat buildup, that would potentially be worth it. Well, I don't have a good heat sink right now. I just checked. So, okay, we'll just have to make do. And by the way, there's a handful of uh, trouble. So, how about we just uh, stop you guys causing too much more trouble than what you're already doing? No, 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 you don't. All right. Just, just sort all of this out, please. Uh, there we go. Just send you flipping flying. Uh, you've also just uh, fallen to your death. Are you okay, by the way? Not anymore, you're not. Good, 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 good. And every single time I kill one of these, uh, infantry pops up. That means I've got a new thing. I can pick up in the infantry. That's all level six stuff. So that's worth like thousands each. So uh, life is good. Commander Shepard is just loaded in this game. In fact, it's so weird they didn't rebalance the economy because... Uh, Honestly, anyone who's played this game can tell you, if you just play this game even remotely thoroughly, you end up a multi-millionaire with nothing to do with it. So anyway, we're down in the uh, the basement right now, and we've just got to fight our way through all of this. So maybe just uh, get down for a second. And uh, honestly, Rex, just push yourself forward. That's all absolutely fine. Rex, you're... Okay, pushing your way forward is okay, but you are also kind of... Literally, you know, just look at him. Just look at that magnificent bastard and how much he can just do by himself. He's just, he's just going. He's taking care of it. Rex does not need anybody's help. Rex can just push forward. He's, he's the best. I love Rex. Also, uh, watch out for panels. We need to get the water flowing again. So, uh, yeah, don't miss them. It's very easy to just walk straight past. So, make sure you get panels. Uh, and then more panels. Keep on keeping on down this here water pipe. That restores drinking water to the colony. And also, yeah, go into the uh, the side rooms. Now, which one's the terrifying murder one? Because it might be this one's the terrifying murder one. Oh, yeah, that looks like trouble. Okay. How about what we do is we just... Yeah, I see you guys up there. I see you guys. Liara, singularity please. I don't want them doing a thing to me. So just take them out. Lovely. Shock troop up ahead. But oh, that shield. Rex just annihilates it. Rex, get over there. Just charge. Charge, 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 charge. And he is in a lot of trouble. Okay. There's Krogan's coming up because this is just lovely by the... Oh, hello over there. No, you don't. No, you flipping don't. Right. Uh, hit him with the overload. Lovely. 
everyone back on me. Yes, Mass Effect 1 was the only game where Krogans actually felt like Krogans. In Mass Effect 2 in particular, Krogans are a joke. But in Mass Effect 1, if you hear someone call out Krogan charging, you take that seriously. Because they're actually a problem, as they're supposed to be. So, you know, that kind of feels like that's uh, the entire point. And there we go. Krogan warriors are moving in. Do not let them get on top of you. They are not to be underestimated. Seriously, there we go. That's a charging Krogan right there. Lift him. All right, I want him out of the way. I want him taken care of because between immunity, shields, Liara's dumb. Liara's just down. They just took out Liara because that's what they can do. Assassinate. That was nothing. She had immunity up. That was a mistake. Um. Okay, Rex, I need you to deal with this problem. Okay, sabotage will do at least a little bit of damage to him. Fall back, take out that guy, because the health regen these guys have got is ridiculous. I can't do anything to him. I need to get him down. Is he done? Right, number one's done. Have you still got immunity up, buddy? Because I think you do. He goes down, but then yes, they just get a second life, because obviously they do. Why wouldn't they? Uh, knock him over. Hit him with damping. I'm not sure he's got any powers, but he might do. Just keep knocking him over. Is he done? He's not done yet. And just look at that. Health regen. It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, they can just run up to you and headbutt you. Assassinate. Dead. Seriously. Assassinate Krokens. Do not. Do not take them lightly. And is there one more? There might be. Yeah, there's one more. When it's just one, we should be okay. Shields aren't such a problem. Rex. Knock him over, please. What did I just say, Rex? There we go. He was trying to shield boost or possibly... Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the key. Keep him off the feet. Just keep going. And he was trying to charge. He gets back up again so he's got a second life. Uh, overload him. Because then he's taking bonus damage. And just look at that. I can't... I can't flip it out. Heal him when he's getting his second redundant life support system up and about. Now he activates immunity. So now, what the flip am I supposed to do now? Um... Carnage him. Rex, all yours, please. All yours. You kind of just have to wait for immunity to wear off because, uh, seriously, there we go. And done. <laughs> Krogans. In this game, you treat them with respect. Mass Effect 2 just ignore them. They're slow-moving dumb idiots who've got one layer of armor, one layer of health. They go down no trouble whatsoever. Mass Effect 1, you treat them with respect, damn it. And also, we'll be having ourselves uh, one tower needs to go down, uh, one technician kick, kind of garbage. But, Liara's back up on her feet, which is nice. And uh, down you go. Spectacular. Right, I just used a healing on Liara, but that didn't get her up to full health. So, uh, at some point, we're going to be needing, yeah, to invest in Liara's first aid. Because right now, we're not healing a full health bar anymore. And if it doesn't heal Liara, it definitely wouldn't heal me. Because... Uh, Rex and I have got more health than she does. And, uh, aha, this will be where the Varan are. These guys, they want meat. All right, they're hungry. And they want to eat some Varan. So, uh, guys, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Honestly, Rex, just go ahead. It's fine. Uh, Rex can just go ahead, because why wouldn't Rex just go ahead? And uh, we'll literally just hang out here. Anyone who gets on top of Rex, we just singularity. And then the entire herd or whatever is now just, uh, you know, like this. Let's just take them out. Take them out. Take them out. You're dead. Yeah, you're nice and dead. And Rex is just having a lovely time. Rex just enjoys being up front, all right? Rex has a lovely time being up front. And there's the Alpha Varen. Honestly, I feel like Rex has got this. But just in case he's not, Liara, help him out. Knock him over. Bit of physics damage. And Liara just getting involved too, if you'd be so kind. Job done. They are dead, and they are on fire. So there we go, giant piles of meat. I believe there's also a battery we can uh, pick up somewhere over here too. That's never going to hurt. Sludge canister can be really good, and uh, no, Avenger 5. Okay, the sludge canisters are letting me down. Sometimes they're amazing. So there we go. Power cell, plenty of meat, everything is good. So yes, we're just doing a few bits and pieces for the town, but... But, 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 if we keep moving in this direction, in the long run, 
Well, first we've got a handful of snipers that need taken out. And seriously, as I've said before, do not flipping underestimate them. So just uh, push forward. Just get a nice little overload on you. Because once the overload, he's desperately trying to shield boost, bless him. All right, there's the destroyer. Don't worry about that. Rex, just go forward. Just deal with it, Rex. You got this. All right, I got faith in Rex. Rex can just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with destroyers. No trouble whatsoever. And... Is that enough water? That might have been enough water. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. Yep, yeah, got them all first time. Very often I just sort of miss one, I have to go back and uh, track it down. But oh, Rex is just... Rex is just the biggest badass in the world. He can just basically charge forward and take care of this by himself. Everyone else would just die trying to do this. Not Rex. Alright, Rex is badass, but... Ian. Here's the real reason uh, you want to come down over here. So, uh, as we were discussing, something's... Uh, Something's not right with this place. And if we speak to Ian over here... You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's Whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. Okay, so the face could have maybe done with a bit of remastering there, Bioware, to be honest. That was always a bit of an awkward one. But, as for what he's saying, yeah, something's wrong here. There's another party we don't know about, and he physically can't tell us about it. A bit like the woman in the med center, but much more explicit. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! And all of a sudden, we got a little bit of trouble behind us. So let's just start. Uh... Very quickly, knock that guy off his feet. Just get rid of him. Be careful. One big singularity. Singularity is just so good. It just clears entire rooms and just means they're just, you know, floating about. Nice and easy. No trouble with all of them. And if everyone else would just like to uh, take care of... Seriously, he's got, like, no health. We good? Also, are you dead? Oh, good. You're fine. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. And there we go. Let's just leave Ian down over here. Though possibly at this point it's time to check in back at town because we've taken out the communications. We've got the meat. We've got the water. We've got them a big old battery. I believe that's everything they need. So that should just be a giant pile of XP and money. Oh, never mind. Handful of people just want to be uh, friends over here. So, okay, Rax. You know what to do. Just get over here. Sort all of this out, please. Lovely. All of that, by the way, helping the colony, finding Ian, completely optional. You can, at this point, just go straight to the Prothean Skyway, straight over to Exogeny, take out the Geth, because that's your mission. That's what you were told to do, and completely ignore this. All right, you could have no clue there's anything wrong with the colony. Or, if you explore, you could have a very clear view that something's wrong. And speaking of which, Fidan, me and you need to have a chat. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. So yes, they're being a bit uh, evasive on that topic, I'd say. And now we'll just very quickly turn in all the bits and pieces. If we're lucky, we might get a level up out of it. 
There we go. Giant pile of XP, giant pile of money, and there's my level up tone. And yes, as you level up, you start getting less and less points. So even under the new system, I'm only getting two points per level up right now. So spec training, probably a good idea at this point. As for Rex, yeah, Rex is weird. Because Rex gets up to pretty much as good as you need him to be very early on, to be honest. So let's give him stasis, just so he has access to it. Then a bit more on the way of shotguns and Liara. Yeah, Liara's another one who kind of just gets as far as she needs to go pretty much immediately. Let's give her electronics just so she's got it, together with just uh, making first aid a little bit stronger as time goes by. I could actually, yeah, do a bit of first aid myself, which honestly, one rank of that just to stack on top of Liara's wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I'd rather prioritise getting at least advanced immunity first. Though yeah, moving in that direction also moves me towards uh, Master Sabotage, that wouldn't hurt. Still, we're good enough for now up to the Skyway, which is a lovely opportunity to have a nice ride in the Mako, because, uh, yes, we get to take the Mako out there. How the Mako got up there precisely is never entirely specified, but the Mako just sort of uh, teleports to you occasionally, like a really enthusiastic puppy. Because, yeah, it's just sort of, um, in this garage. How did it get in this flaming garage? I don't know, but it's just here, so that's all absolutely fine. So... In we go, and yes, there'll be plenty of... Uh, there she is, by the way, same dropship we uh, ran into earlier. Plenty of geth we need to take care of en route. But this time I've got a tank, so this should not be too much trouble at all. Again, the game sort of has interesting difficulty, because you could come to any planet first, theoretically. So you've kind of just got to be, you know, making sure the difficulty is uh, set up right that... Every location would make sense as a first location. So uh, these guys get a bit of an introduction, even though obviously I've seen them many times before. So just uh, keep on keeping on. Just blast them. That's nothing but shields. No trouble there at all. And avoid all of that. I just love hopping. Hopping over things is great. The game never actually tells you, hey, use your boosters to jump straight over rockets. You just have to figure it out by yourself because... Uh, Oh, it's just lovely. The Mako's the best thing. Keep your eyes open, by the way, because, uh, yes, just occasionally there are little gaps in this area. So it's not just, you know, an area you're supposed to be uh, driving through. Uh, there are little tunnels uh, you can nip into for some free stuff, which is never going to hurt. Never say no to free stuff, especially as uh, free stuff just makes you a millionaire. It's lovely. Anything down here, by the way? Well, something down here. Oh, it's just a basic trooper. Liara. Teach him some manners. Lovely. Just send him flipping flying over there. And I think he's uh I think he's not getting up again. Technician kit can be very good. High explosive seven. That's a new grenade for me. I love it. Oh, and some new armor for Rex. So less shielding, but more damage protection. Which I'd say is more important because his health is where the real strength lies. So keeping him alive on his health bar, that's the better option to my mind. Much bigger and more obvious, however, if we just uh, head around the corner, we've got ourselves a, a handful of survivors on the Skyway. Hello there, guys. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. 
And before we move on, Gavin here wants me to recover some information too. We're going to literally walk straight past it, so I see no reason why not. And with that moving on up in my giant lovely bouncy tank, probably a few more geth to deal with, and I believe another secret tunnel further up the skyway. There's kind of, uh, yeah, one on each level that you go along. Here we go, sewer subway number one, literally right by the entrance to the uh, second level. So just take care of a handful of them. Oh, basic geth troopers. Oh, guys. Guys, I've got bad news about your long-term prospects. Just toss a little. Oh, just lovely overload of them too. Oh, yeah. Shield. That's going to work well for you. Oh, you flipping coward. Come back here, you. Right, Rex. Go and take him out. All right, Rex. This one's all yours. All right, I'm just going to leave this up to Rex. I don't need to get involved. Rex can handle this. No trouble. No trouble. I'll just have myself to shred around. Flipping love it. Right, Rex. Just... Wait, where'd you go? Oh, there's just a Geth Trooper. Right, he went to go and attack my bloody tank. What a deck. Okay, maybe there's not. Maybe it's uh, another one where there's a second level. I know there's one more, damn it. Yes, there we go. Some lads right over here. And if I'm lucky... Was that in Splash Radius? I don't know. Yeah, you used to get a reduced XP for kills in the Mako. They took that out, so now you can just kill everything in the Mako to your heart's content. It's marvellous. Hello, yes, it's me. I'm Commander Shepard. Screw you. Right, so you're nice and dark. Not dead yet, apparently, but you soon will be. Uh, Rex, just make your way down over there and sort all this out if you'd be so uh, kind. But honestly, I'll uh, just... Just nailing them in the face. It felt so good. Your sniper rifle just felt like, you know, you were hitting them with a cocky brick just because of the lovely, beautiful knockback on it. It was marvellous. I see a couple over here. Hopefully no snipers, right? If it's no snipers, we're absolutely a-okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not happy bunnies. That was, that's really bad cover, by the way. Not good cover at all. And now you're on the ground and now you're dead. Spectacular. Oh, and here's fun. My first Geth Armory weapon. A pulse rifle, which is... I mean, pretty good, to be honest. So... I mean, go on. Have a go with that. Why not? You can use that just for some fun. Because, honestly, it's pretty good. Though, yes, the reason it's pretty good is because you're not allowed to actually uh, plug any mods into it. Because it is just what it is. But, okay, go on. Why not? Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that for myself. Because in the off chance I ever need to use my own little uh, assault rifle in an emergency, it just sounds like a fun thing to have. And Rex is never going to use that. Prefer him with a shotgun anyway. Still, looks to me like that's a lot. We've made our way to the tower. A bit of just, you know, fire in the background. But it's not real. All right, no one's actually firing at or from anything. It's just for a bit of a uh, decoration. Uh, that's our real goal. The Geth ship we saw earlier... This is where it returned to, so... Okay, just a handful of geth. Need to go down. If we're lucky, they might... There we go. Just get over to... Key up. Well, that's you nice and dead. And there's a stalker. Well, he's dead too. Spectacular. And uh, my companions are assuming I would step outside. I could step outside. Or I could not. Could just stay in my tank, to be honest. I feel like there's only... There's like one left. All right, I think we're fine in that case. So just uh, head over here and... Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Just I will never get bored of just knocking people off their feet. Rocket Trooper. Slight issue, by the way. And can't rock it if you're sitting on your ass. Love it. Oh, this is fun, by the way. Yeah, sort of... Well, not really secret room, but uh, over here, there's a bit of a nasty surprise. You see, you've got a lovely empty room... Right here, completely nice and empty, no trouble, nice empty malfunctioning object, just uh, help myself to all of that, not particularly useful to be honest, and then this happens, a Geth armature wakes up, which is lovely, so uh, we just need to take out its uh, shield, uh, first up, carnage, and can you lift it? I don't know whether you, okay, we actually can, which is, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm impressed, that's just, that's just lovely, well done, and now it's, is it? Okay, now it's back to where it should be. It's about to really hurt by this. Singularity! Bloody how it just killed Liara. Um, okay, well, if we're lucky before it fires... Yeah, those things. 
tricky on the ground, especially to Liara, who just falls over. Bloody hell. Still, that's, uh, it's always nice to take out a giant flipping one of them on foot. Very, very nice indeed. Liara, back up to health with you, please. And if you wouldn't mind getting your shield up. Also, is this bit still utterly, uh, ridiculous, by the way? Because I really hope it is still utterly ridiculous. Yes, the game says, uh, if you drop down this, there's no way to get back up again. When there's, um, three of us. And one of us is... Rex could literally just climb out of that. Like, disregarding the fact I've got a biotic who knows the ability lift. Uh, Rex is completely tall enough. I could do that too. This is... This is ridiculous. But no, apparently there's no way back. Once we dropped out this, I kind of assumed in the remaster they'd have made the drop a bit more significant to get around this glaring inaccuracy. But uh, all right, Liara's just got um, a very poor impression of our abilities in terms of teamwork, upper body strength, her own biotics, all sorts really. Anyway, forward, forward, forward. And I believe we have got ourselves uh, one missing person. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Baron. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Alright, seems like a plan to me. Let's start off with that. And straight away, handful of Varen immediately uh, rock up and get involved, so that's all absolutely fine. And yeah, this is not an issue at all. Honestly, Rex can deal with this. Just start uh, knocking some of them. I'm getting a little bit, little bit crowded, actually, to be honest. But I feel like, I mean, you're willing to... There we go. Lizzie's trying to help. Not necessarily that effectively. But I think there might be more Varen here than there used to be. Because I swear this used to be not this bad. This is... There's actually quite a bit on the uh, the intense side. There's a fair few of them. This could have posed a threat to lower level. Dear oh flipping dear. Right, take you guys out. Take you guys out too. That is definitely more Varen than there used to be. There did not used to be this many. So, all right. As she was saying, uh, power cables, uh, follow them, uh, find Geth, diddly diddly do. This is the point where it would be nice to have uh, Tali with us, but... Stupid machine. Oh. Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. I love that line. It's such a good line. So, just knock him off his feet, please, as soon as possible. And, Rex, I want you going to take care of that. My overload immediately takes care of all of this nonsense. Liara! Liara, I wouldn't recommend. Liara's about to die again. If you could lift him before you do, that'd be... No, she immediately dies, because obviously, why wouldn't she? Bloody hell, this is... Rex, you got him? He's trying to regenerate. No, don't let him. Don't flip him, let him assassinate. There we go. Got him at mid-flipping regeneration. Bloody Liara, eh? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. 
What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Should we inform your pilot? Joker! Come in, Joker. Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. V.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. So there we go. We now know what was the source of the mysterious unexplained behavior earlier. A plant is taking control of all the people. And uh, what I love about this game is uh, you could have broadly figured that out already. Not necessarily it was a plant, but you know, uh, figured out roughly that's what's going on. Or this could just be a massive revelation to you right now, which is just such a damn good game. Mass Effect 1, such a bloody classic. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Ah, yes, and I'd forgotten about this. Guys, don't open... Never mind the open fire. You may notice, yes, these uh, lovely geth were just sitting here. What looks distinctly like, you know, praying, actually. They were just uh, chilling out, doing their own thing here. They were not attacking me. They were not, you know, doing evil killbot stuff. That's you nice and dead. In fact, here we go. Have it confirmed in sack. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? We need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. Nope, no matter. Everyone else is more concerned with the rest of it. But, uh, yes, right over here, we've got ourselves this mysterious glowy ball. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. Oh, Rex, show some interest. This is, yes, another little hint. Possibly the only hint in the main story that the Geth are more than just kill bots, which they most definitely are. They're interested in music. They have a, a spirituality. They just, for the most part, don't speak English. They just communicate between themselves quietly in a way we can't hear. So it's easy to make assumptions. But if you just pay attention to the evidence, there's... Uh, there's clearly more going on than what we see in this game, or at least in the main quest. Oh, and Rex, I think you're going to enjoy using the Armageddon shotgun. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, not only that, extra slot, because that's now good enough. Oh my. What can we give you, buddy? Well, there's no rule against putting uh, double upgrades on, so just more and more power. Just give him all the damn power. I think we also picked up some... Oh my... Oh, flip me, that's a ho ho. Oh, Rex, you're gonna be loving this. That's ridiculous. Oh, round the corner. We're back jammed. There's gonna be more. Oh, sniper. Someone just knock him off his feet, please. Thank you. And you are. Oh, there's there's more trouble, yeah. No, that's uh that's one of those lads up top. Okay, guys. Stay back, please. Stay back. Rex, you can move forward. No, not you, Liara. Liara, everyone, swap places, please. Rex, you can go forward. Into the fire you go, because honestly, it's fine. And I need that guy to start floating. Nice singularity will take care of him. Knock him into the fire. Everyone's just, wow. Just ridiculous. Nice big uh, overload will just cause them some trouble. Down you go. Down you go too. Shield in the way of you. Oh, and then you are going to be in trouble too. Oh, I love her. I just flip in. Okay, you're still around apparently. No, no, no. None of that, please. None of bloody that. Okay, we've made it to the shield back to the first room. But now we need to actually uh, get her down. And which way's the... There's a bonus one way. And the thing I actually want the other. And I can't remember which is which. 
I'm getting bonusy feelings from this room over over here. Oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. Okay, so we just need to go to Where are we, buddy? Where are I? hang on no. I'm getting the opposite feeling now. I think I'm supposed to be going the by which I mean actually I'm supposed to be going this way. But that means I want to go the other way. You know how it goes. Oh, but I shan't say no to a Punisher 8 with an extra slot in it. I admit, I have put double damage up heat up in this thing. So, how good is this thing? Oh, it's a bit slower. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we might just have to give it a go. And uh, where are we? Oh, blimey. Okay, yes, I've gone the, the right way, by which I mean the, the wrong way. So it's fine. I've been poisoned by a bastard too. Okay, I just need some of you guys out the way for a second. Just uh, toss him out the way, please. Just need to try out this thing. Okay, you know what? I've changed my mind. I feel like I can actually deal with this sniper rifle that can apparently just kill everything. Rex, just get forward and just, like, knack up everything. To be honest, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. And... Go! Oh, yeah. Now, this rifle, I've decided I can deal with... Oh, blimey, that was a sniper! Okay, well, that was... Bloody lucky one. I'm a lot tougher these days because I just took a sniper shot. Everybody nice and dead? I think everybody's nice and dead. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, uh, that's all absolutely yeah, okay. And I believe this terminal is rather important. You need to walk past it. But if you don't, Exo Jenny ships some samples off elsewhere. Rather important, therefore, we might want to go and check out the Nodacrux colony to make sure things aren't getting out of hand over there. Right, keep on keeping on. We've also got ourselves uh, another arm. There's nothing we can do with. But just a little bit further along, we have got ourselves uh, trouble, potentially. Let's just put a massive great singularity right over there. And oh my goodness, that's just happy days. Happy days are here at last. And no. And his own friends just keep up tanking for him. He goes down. Love it. Rex, just get down over there. Rex, come on. Lad, I'm, I'm flipping. I'm telling you to go over there, please. Just everybody focus your attention on that lad. Uh, this guy's got a little bit of health on him. I've leveled up somehow or another. Down you go. Oh, yeah. Now, this thing's got hitting power. Doesn't have quite the knockdown power. The rapid fire rifles are hilarious for them. Okay. Do you think you've got enough shields, lads? Because I suspect you do. Rex, keep on. Liara, now is not the time to talk about flipping communications. All right. Just flipping. Just take them out, please. There we go. That's your lot. We good? Also, server node. That might be the submission, the data I was asked to pick up. I honestly can't recall, but oh, this is... Okay, just keep tapping up and eventually that's all absolutely fine. I don't trust Cerberus. They may pay well. Word gets out before we've developed an antidote. It's just not smart. Yeah, Matano. Yet another set of samples has been sent to elsewhere. So... Cerberus, once again being dicks. Just remember all of this. Remember that Shepard knows about all of this stuff that Cerberus did. And we've also got the only way to take care of the Geth ship, which is slamming a door down on it. So, yes, we've got to make sure the pressure of the door is between 31 and 34. Because if that happens, it slams and that kills the Geth ship and diddly diddly ding. So, I cannot remember... The exact solution. I've got numbers here. So, okay, what's the lowest number I've uh, got here? 31 and 34. So, 17. That's on 11, so you're at 28. And there we go. Nice and simple. Then just shut that, and in just a second, uh, door slams. Uh, just enough to break one of the uh, lovely legs. Uh, but, as a result, the other two can no longer take the strain, and... Uh, Good by Geth Shep. Lovely. Commander Shepard is so good at just uh, breaking things. And there's some lovely god rays going on too. There it goes. I feel bad about blowing it up though because it was very pretty. The Geth designs are lovely. And there we go. We got ourselves a way out. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of Geth and end things off with a huge crash. Rex is just the best. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. 
They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. And there we go. We have now got ourselves confirmation the Thorian knows about us and is not flipping impressed. It started trying to take the ship, but because it's a plant, it doesn't really understand what it's dealing with. So, okay. Time to get back to the ship anyway. But don't forget to go the other way, because I came the right way first by mistake. Right, ignore door. Go to the right first, because we did promise to get some data. Admittedly, the data might be kind of, you know, evil and it's been repeatedly shipped elsewhere in a way that we now need to sort out but this area is very fun because a double krogan everyone loves a double krogan so just slap a nice singularity right there and then rex just uh charge forward and go and uh oh okay that that didn't work so well uh knock that guy over they're immunitying uh don't like immunity right just throw him i just want him distracted until it wears off so, Rex, seriously, I'm not, I'm not kidding right now. We need somebody to just lift these bastards. Are they both lifted? Uh, okay, Rex is on the move. Uh, one of them is, okay, you've disintegrated, uh, which is good. Rex is just trying to do his own thing right now. I'm just going to get involved as best I can. Uh, assassinate. Go. That's enough to one-shot them. Love it. And then Rex is just... Okay, Rex, yeah, you probably want to... Never mind, he got back up again. Never mind, that should be enough for him. Good, 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 good. So Rex is just taking on that guy. He is now... He was immunitying. Now he's not. Uh, warp him. So he can't actually uh, heal. So that's good at least. And then... I'm just going to hit him with... Sabotage. That's completely pointless. Rex, is there a reason you're not... Doing anything? Okay, Liara just killed that Krogan while Rex couldn't be bothered. That's just embarrassing for you, Rex. Still, I have got Gavin's data. And I'll also be uh, robbing his office because you never know what he might have that's rather useful. Doesn't look great, to be honest, but what can you do? Oh, I say that, though. At some point, I picked up the Equalizer 7. Does anyone know where that was? Because the damage per second is even higher than uh, what I've got right now, so... I mean, okay. Is this back to rapid? Oh, we're back to rapid burst. Yes, everything is good again. I like this. All right, I never would have told you that before that. This is my big discovery for this playthrough. The more rapid fire sniper rifles combine them with the knockdown ammo. And, uh, oh, it's just hilarious. The enemy can't stay on their bloody feet. Anyway, back to Lisbeth. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Also, do not forget to level up Advanced Unity in case anyone falls over. And, uh, yeah, move towards uh, Decryption and First Aid. That's not so bad. Especially as that is actually... That's taking explosion damage. To be honest, Radius is uh, better, but Damping is the least useful ability, which is a bit of a shame. Rex, you just have maxed out shotguns and make your barrier a bit stronger. As for Liara, yeah. Have yourself overload so you've got access to it. And then on top of that, each further rank is another 13 shields, which is uh, not the worst thing in the world, but let's get you to advance first aid first. In which case, everybody back in the tank, I suspect we need to go and say hello to Ethan and Lisbeth's mother. Couple of geth on the way, mind you, but honestly, I'm not expecting a massive, uh, terrifying resistance. 
Like, okay, well, if I miss, it might be a little bit on the worst side. Uh, juggernauts sound bad, but they kind of explode. Like, you know, fairly easily, actually. So take them out first with the, uh, the cannon, then just concentrate fire on you bastards. And you actually survived that. Well done. Uh, do a little jump. And then in a moment, you are now on fire. Yeah, if you see the fire animation, you know they're screwed. And once you're down to one, once again, you can just do a nice reassuring uh, cuddle. And that will definitely take care of them. Lovely. Yeah, it's going to be nothing we can't handle in the Mako. As long as you understand how the Mako works, it's fine. The one down to this, yeah, aside from the very end of the game, there's no bits in the Mako that are actually particularly difficult because... Every Mako section could be your first Mako section. The one downside of letting you do the game in any order you choose is, yeah, you might end up in a scenario where you can't really have proper difficulty curves because everything's got to be doable by anybody. So the Mako in particular just, it doesn't really ramp up in difficulty. But it is fun. All right, I bloody love the Mako. It's great because you just murder everybody with a giant cannon. And Lisbeth wants to get out to go and see her mother. That's fine. I'll be going to help too. And yes, with this much charm, hopefully we can resolve the uh, unpleasant situation that is taking shape down over there. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coups. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has, the Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I love how she immediately puts the blame on Jong like she didn't also work for Exo Jenny and also know the whole time and didn't excuse herself earlier using the I was just following orders excuse. And tragically, even Ten in Charm is not enough to sort this out. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I can resolve this without just shooting Jong. So that's a bit of a shame. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? No, 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 we can't just hand away for that easily. She did work on the telepathic mind control project. Like, for some time, I know about it. We don't know what other work she did, but she did work on the Nightmare Corporate Mind Control Project. But apparently, we're just going to uh, ignore that and uh, not make her face any consequences for that whatsoever. So, I'm sure that's all fine. I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. This should really be something that Lisbeth says, because yes, her coming up with a pacifist solution to take down the actual town without killing them, that'd be a good redemption, but for some reason it's her mum that comes up with it. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. And you can just refuse to do this and gun down the entire town. But it's pretty much the easiest source of paragon points in the game if you can just take them out without killing them using grenades. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. 
And there we go. I have now got anti-Thorian gas grenades. Spectacular. And don't forget Gavin Hossel either. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I did. Here's your data. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. There we go, 20,000 credits, which is absolutely nothing, so I probably shouldn't have brought any data out because, uh, you know, it could have been related to the, uh, the Thorian, so probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Right, everyone back in the tank, we've got business to take care of. Okay, token resistance taken care of, but as we approach the gates, say hello to what's supposed to be our introduction to the Thorians, but of course we kind of already ran into them because Cerberus already, uh, has control of them, which is a bit of a shame. And hang on. No, 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 no. Obviously, we don't have these guys. No shielding, but uh, yes, relatively resistant to just about everything. These guys are not nothing, but knocking them down with my sniper rifle. Not bad. Physics in terms of just keeping them off their feet. Good idea. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. Because yeah, that's not a person, it's like a weird creeper thing made by the plant. But, don't wipe everything out, wipe out the creepers, not the infected colonists. Alright, we're gonna be good. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. There we go, and yes, the game even gives you a little, uh, countdown of this sort of thing. So seriously, don't forget to install the anti-Thorian gas, so I can use these grenades uh, to sort out the colonists without actually murdering them, which is uh, very, very useful indeed, though, to be honest, a perfect sweep is really, really difficult to do. Uh, so probably, best get out the, uh, the old pistol at this point, just so I don't actually have a scope, just so I can aim without going into, uh, tunnel vision, so... Uh, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that's enough for now, because we've made some excellent progress here on Pharos. But, yeah, trying to do a clean, perfect sweep of the actual town, knocking them unconscious, that's tricky, though potentially the new, yeah, batter button, that could be rather useful. I can't remember whether knocking them unconscious with a gun actually counts, like, you know, with the butt of your gun, I mean. So, okay. That gets out bad. We'll try and go for a perfect 16 out of 16 for tons of Paragon points if we can. And then, oh my, yes, the, um, the fight against the Thorian and the Creepers and also some Asari Commandos, because why the flip not? This is, uh, it's a tricky boss fight. To my mind, yeah, one of the toughest in the game. So maybe, 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 maybe that'll take uh, more than one attempt on Insanity. We'll have to flip and see, because seriously, that one can be... Uh, that could be a pain. So uh, join me next time for that, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, one a hell of a fight. But if we can get it right, yeah. Paragon points galore and uh, our first completed planet. And once we've got our first completed, you know, plot planet, all sorts of stuff opens up. New systems, uh, new stories with our companions, a whole bunch of things uh, we might want to go and investigate. So uh, hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.